Hi, I am Anna Catherine Rehm, and I am introducing Maddie Davies, the girl that ra radiates positivity. Her super cool talents include playing the ukulele and making awesome films. She is seen by, as, as a light by her peers and has a spirit of joy unmatched by any other person. When I bump into her in the hallways, I always feel welcomed by her warm smile and her quick yet caring and thoughtful words. Her message to follow is bound to be just as great as she is. And I'll give it up for the birthday girl, Madeline Walker Davies. Quiet on set, roll sound. Speed. Roll camera. camera All right, everybody, this is Maddie's senior speech. Take one. <laughs> Action. <laughs> what you have just heard is known as the call of the set. It's the first thing you hear at the beginning of every take of every scene you have in a film, whether it's a music video, a short, or a feature film. It's the way to organize your scenes, and organizing is one of the most important things when it comes to making a film. Because what most people don't consider is that it's a very long and stressful process, and there are plenty of bumps along the way. Before you get to the call of the set, or even the set itself, there are around seven stages of making a film you have to consider. The top three being pre-production, in which you plan everything out, production, where you film all the scenes, and post-production, leaving you to edit, score, create sound effects, make the credits, and so much more. Now. Imagine these stages condensed to 48 hours. Our genre was espionage, or spying. Our character, Danielle Benton, an illustrator. Our prop, tongs. And our line, you decide, I don't care. These four items were required when our team, Study Room Productions, competed in the 48-hour film competition. Two short days to write a brand new script, plan out locations, shoot the angles, compose music, and edit a draft that looked good enough to premiere in the studio on the Square Movie Theater. And what a chaotic weekend it was. The kickoff started at 7.30 that Friday night, and the next 48 hours were filled with little sleep, constant Starbucks, and plenty of stress. But despite all this, I loved every minute of it. There's nothing quite like the rush of having to score the whole short in 30 minutes, then sprinting to turn it in three minutes before the deadline. We ended up winning three awards, even though we were the only team under the age of 30. <laughs> but before this past summer came along, I essentially knew nothing about film. Thankfully, I had the ultimate pleasure of attending Governor's School for the Arts in Filmmaking. I spent a whole month with 20 other film geeks making one-shot films and music videos, with our big final project being a short film. My small group of five certainly stressed over every step of the process to making our film called Clouded. We tried so hard to make it a smooth path, but a bumpy road is unavoidable when you're making a seven-minute short film with four strangers. We definitely had our struggles, starting at the very beginning when it took us two days longer than every other group to write our script. Then, on the morning of our first day of production, our lead actor got sent to the hospital with a serious case of pneumonia. Then, if that wasn't enough, we were only allowed to shoot in our main location for two days, meaning we were there from 10.30 in the morning to 9.30 at night. But I had the time of my life. When the stress of film wasn't surrounding our every thought, we went swing dancing in the rain, sat in a field of fireflies, and made friendships that will last forever. The month was full of movie magic. But as much as we film kids hate to admit it, life is not a movie. There's no one out there yelling, cut, back to one, every time you say or do the wrong thing. Life tends to be a lot messier than film. When you go to the theater, you're not seeing the long process it took to get there. You're seeing the finished product, the edited version. How great would it be if we could edit our lives to only see the takes we like? You see, film isn't necessarily a way of escaping reality, but it sure is one way to discover your own life and appreciate it for what it is, unedited. Thank you.